still obviously 100% uh, Sangiovese, but uh, from particular vineyards. We don't use every vineyard that we have for this wine. Uh, we wait until the vines are 15 year old. Uh, this way they have developed uh, a lower yield, higher quality. Uh, the vinification is about for 15 days. It's not fixed, it's uh, very much variable because we use only indigenous yeast for the fermentation because as you know, alcoholic fermentation uh, is operated by, by yeast. After that, uh, we have decided, even though it's not required, to age uh, our Rosso di Montalcino. And the aging is for one year. 75% um, of the wine is aged in large barrels. In large barrels, I mean 3,000 to 5,000 liters, so pretty large. Two, uh, and 25% of the wine is aged in barrique. Uh, barrique are the smaller barrels. Uh, the regular size for a barrique is uh, 225 liters. We use them a little larger, that is 350 liters. The advantage of having a smaller barrel is definitely that the, um, con the, surface, uh, the contact surface between the wine and the oak is much higher, so this way you accelerate uh, the aging and have a, a wine with a higher complexity and with a longer uh, lifespan. So 75 and 25%, uh, then we do the blend after one year, and we keep the wine in bottle for at least eight months before putting it in the market. Uh, 2007 was a little bit of a warmer year. The spring was quite similar to the previous year. We're getting pretty consistent springs uh, year after year. Uh, we got only a little bit of, a, uh, of a hail at uh, the very beginning of April. Didn't make any uh, big damage. And uh, in, the, in the summer, it was still a, a warm summer. Slightly more humid than the summer before, but uh, not rainy, not definitely rainy. Um, no rains during the harvest. As a matter of fact, 2007 has been rated four stars by the Brunello Consortium. So a little bit less than the, than the 06, but still considered very good uh, quality uh, vintage. Acidity and tannins and mouth filling. This is a new vintage, so it's been in the bottle only for, for eight months. But really, uh, it fills your mouth. Uh, there is a uh, good tannins, but not aggressive. Uh, in the mouth, they're quite nice and, and velvety. And the acidity, again, that is so typical of the, of the Sangiovese. Good length, you taste it. And also in the, in the back of the mouth, you really smell, again, all the flavors that you smelled before uh, in, the, in the glass just keeps going on and on.